airmen. It's a senior airman. You guys will stand up. And then you guys will sit down. For people who are getting ranked up from staff sergeant all the way to senior, you guys stand up, go up to us, present arms, go, go get, get your rank, sit back down. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Thank you. Hello, my name is Cadet Major Joseph. Hi, my name is Cadet Major Borrego. Hello, my name is Cadet Captain Contreras. Hello, my name is Cadet Second Lieutenant Foster. And, and, and we, we are in the AFJ ROTC program. Well, in today's program, we had a promotion ceremony where we get all the cadets in the auditorium and each and every one of them gets ranked up for what they have done throughout the whole semester, such as... Uh, we have certain jobs in the Air Force ROTC program, and based on what the cadets do in those jobs, they can come here and get promoted to the next rank, and so on and so forth. In addition to that, we also have events such as community services, different activities, different teams. For example, our drill team, which I am a commander. For the captain, for the Diana Consuela. So that's another thing that contributes to the promotion factor. But all these things put together is what really makes ROTC a fun experience to not only want to be a part of, but to also to try and do better at. Well, AFJ ROTC means Air, Air Force, Force Junior, Junior Reserve Officer, Officer Training, Training Corps. Um, for my, well, my rank, my position, I'm the Corps Commander. I run the whole Corps in ROTC. My job is to watch every single cadet to what they do, tell them what they do, what to do and how to do it. I am the Vice Corps Commander of the AFJ ROTC program, which basically is when he's not here, I'm in charge. You know, whatever he needs me to do, I do. So it's basically, he's a step up and then I'm under him. So whatever responsibilities he needs me to do, I will do. Whatever tasks I have to do, I will do. Um, I am the ex core commander for uh, the JROTC program and right now I am special ops and any events that we have towards the end of the year or any advertisement that we need to do for ROTC, I am able to work with different inter individuals who are able to uh, boost up ROTC's morale and get more cadets to join ROTC for the future so when I come back to visit from college after I graduate, um, the Air Force JROTC program will still be here and you guys will still have people. I'm the Operations Squadron Commander of JROTC, so I'm the person that is in charge of Color Guard events and also the flight leaders that are inside the Corps. Tradition is to the air, okay? And tradition is to promote those deserving individuals to the next grade. Guys, I need you to stay focused. I need you to stay focused and keep focusing on your classes. Keep focusing on what we do in OGC and how we look to the rest of the school. My name is Technical Sergeant Roger P. Govaya. I am a JROTC instructor here at Bewickland High School. JROTC, which means uh, Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, it's a, it's a place where individuals can find themselves and find if they want to be challenged with discipline, um, learn some basic core values, um, integrity first, service before self, excellence in all we do. Um, it's a place where people actually grow. And when I say they find themselves, this is a place where I just mold them and help them find themselves and become leaders. Hello, I'm Cadet Second Lieutenant Foster, and I've been in the JRTC program for three and a half years. I joined my second semester, freshman year, in February, February 22nd. And from then, it's been a positive experience for me. It taught me a lot about being self-confident and to be more bold and tenacious with yourself and with other people around you. Hello, my name is Cadet Major Borrego. This is my third year in ROTC, and I'm currently a senior. Hello, my name is Cadet Captain Consuegra, and I am a junior, and this is my third year in the JROTC program. Well, I actually didn't even want to join ROTC in the first place, but the thing was that once I saw that great environment that was shown, and the things that we do in the class, I noticed like, wow, this class, this program is really good for me. And by doing all these things, it got me motivated, and it got me to where I am today as a Corps Commander. 
Well, I'm basically in the same boat as Joshua. I didn't really want to join the program to begin with, so I was convinced to basically try it out for three weeks, you know, see if I like it, and then if I didn't, they would take it off my, off my schedule. So after a while, you know, I saw the environment that I was in. I saw how close everyone was to each other. I saw the different benefits that the program gives to you. And after a while, you know, everyone there just kind of became my family. And, you know, I just felt like that was the only place in the school where it was my home. Hello, my name is Cadet Major Joseph. I am a senior here at Dewey Clayton High School, and I have been in the Air Force JROTC program for four years. What made me want to join the JROTC program is the fact that there were a lot of kids who were around the school who were talking about the program, but at first I was too scared. Um, the reason why I was scared was because I wasn't really sure about what the program was about. I was just assuming that I was going to go straight into the Air Force. But it turns out that program is not what I had in mind. Um, it actually is a place where you get to meet a lot of friends and you guys get to learn basic military concepts and you guys get to know more about the military and what it's like to be a part of it. One thing that I do really enjoy about uh, JROTC is to see uh, the individuals who actually come back and when they come back and they tell me the ups and downs that they're going through, um, the success stories, um, their, their travels, uh, some of the challenges that each of them um, are going through and from them telling me that the little things that I did or that ROTC has given them definitely you know gave them a little bit more tools and um, it helped them and that's what makes it makes me feel good about what I'm doing here one of the things especially is that I got to meet a lot of different people and I got to meet a lot of um, different students um, instructors, people who wanted to know more about the JROTC program, I got to make friends with people that I thought I would never be friends with before. And one of the things is that I never knew that there were people who were just like me, who were interested in the same thing. ROTC, it's not just a class that you go to. You know, you have a class, you have a class during the day, and then along with that, you know, you can participate in the different things, you know. As time goes on, we all become a family. So it's not just, you know, a place that you go to so that, you know, you can just sit there and do nothing. It's not basically a free period. We actually, you know, we learn about the science of flight, we learn about the atmosphere, the different parts of the airplane, um, aviation history, you know, it's different things that make the program. Not only do we learn science, but we also learn leadership skills. For those people who are shy or cannot talk in front of a lot of people, we help you get out of that shell that you're in. So that way when you're going for a job interview or you're going to present in class, you'll feel more comfortable talking to a huge audience. That's our main mission for you guys. So that way you guys can get out of that shell. This year what I'd like to do is really motivate all students, not only in my uh, ROTC um, group, but throughout the school, um, push community awareness and um, try to instill more leadership uh, values throughout. Once I graduate Dewey Clinton, I'm going to head over to Mercy College and I'm going to study business administration. Um, at first, I did want to go to the military, but right now I'm going to focus more on college and see where it takes me. And hopefully in the future, if I do want to be in the Air Force or in the Navy, Marine, or Army, then I'll probably head out there. One of my biggest expectations is to just make sure that everyone is just doing the right thing. Make sure that you are keeping up with all of your classwork. Make sure that you are keeping friends in the JROTC program. And just make sure that you tell other people about the program. So I will be next year's squad commander, and next year is a pretty important year because we have our Air Force inspection, which occurs every four years, I believe. Three years. Three years? Every three years, I believe. So um, I'm trying to basically contribute into the inspection factor, as well as keep the Corps itself running. I'm starting in September. I'll be going to College of Westchester. So for the time being, that's where I'll be going to school at. As for going to the military, that will be a very last resort in terms of in case I were to get 
in case I feel like I'd be at a standstill in life and I just need something to do to like kind of push me forward. The, the principles that I instill in students or I try to instill in students is just be true to themselves, to push themselves and um, into different levels. In other words, be success stories, but, you know, for themselves. You know, to try to climb the ladder. They don't have to remain down here, but if they can push themselves up here and become leaders instead of followers, um, then I've made a success. I want to congratulate every single one of you who have been nicely done, job well done. I look forward to seeing you guys again when we do this here towards the end of the, of the semester. Keep up the good work.